A while ago I made a video about four great free beginner guitar courses. If you haven't seen it, it's well worth checking out. But one of those courses was by Jamie Harrison, and I've been captivated by his guitar playing ever since I saw him play Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. It's been an advert that cropped up on YouTube a number of times, and I was captivated by his style of playing, and given that I'm a kind of strap bass player at the moment, that's something that I'm particularly interested in. So over the last month or so, I've played through his beginner guitar course, and someone asked me to come back once I've played through it and tell them all about it. So that's what I'm doing today. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm going to announce my new challenge. So stick around and find out what that is. So before we get into it, if you haven't joined me before, my name's Luke, and my channel is all about my beginning guitar journey, tips that I share along the way, and guitar course reviews like this one today. So if that's something you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. So the first thing to establish is that it's a zero cost, literally nothing. There's no paywall that it hides behind. The only thing I would say is that when you first go to sign up for the course, and I'll leave a description below, it sort of advertises itself as around 30, 40 pounds or dollars, around about that amount anyway. But if you go down below that and then you share it via Facebook, you get the course entirely for free. So the big reason I took this course was to try and build up some kind of foundation in order to play one of his single guitar cover courses. So I was a bit dubious about whether or not it'd prepare you for one of these courses. However, once I saw the amount of content within the course, it gave me a bit more confidence. There's actually 84 lessons in total, spread across 19 modules. The content is mixed well through the course and you get open chords, bar chords, you also get to try out some Jimi Hendrix thumb over the top chords. So there's a good mix. And it also goes along with songs, popular songs that you get to learn, and riffs. The riffs that you get to learn are Satisfaction by the Stones, Seven Nation Army, and the classic Smoke on the Water. And the songs that you get to learn are Knocking on Heaven's Door, Sweet Home Alabama, Stand By Me, Highway to Hell, Proud Mary, Brown Eyed Girl, Stuck in the Middle with You, and free falling. And these aren't just random songs that are picked out of anywhere, they're picked because they have specific techniques that you get to work on, whether or not that's a strum pattern, or a palm you, or whatever it may be. It's all about building this foundation of skills that you will need to go on and play some of these other courses. Given the amount of content that is in the course, I'd estimate this course would take between three and five months for an absolute beginner. Obviously, it's not a race, but that's just as a guide based on what I've played previously, like Justin's course, and Paul's course. Jamie's built a community around his courses, but these aren't really accessible unless you pay for one of his courses. If you did, you'd get access to his forum, but then there's Facebook pages, and some Facebook pages dedicated exactly to a single course. So that's great when you want to meet other people who are trying to go through the same thing. I've just joined up for one, and I'll get into that more of that later, but I found it been really useful to see others who are going through the pain of learning something really, really tricky. There's a lot that I enjoyed about this course and it feels fun to play your way through it. The videos are not too short, not too long, and the course is generally fun to play through. On top of that, you get a progression bar so you get to see how far you are through the course at any point in time. That's something I always really like, just so I can see my own momentum's building and as I go through and I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere. The content is centered around strap based guitar playing, but there's no reason that you can play on any other type of electric guitar or acoustic for that matter. All the techniques will apply. Obviously, some of the things might be a little bit more difficult to do, like perhaps a vibrato, but that's just the way it is with an acoustic, no matter what course you're doing. The songs are pretty well covered too, and they're pretty well slowed down. There's no ads on them or anything like that, so they're nice and clean. You also get a load of material that comes with the course and you can download, so it have the strum patterns as you get to learn these songs. So the good mix of content as you go. So overall, how does it stack up against the other courses that I've done? Well, if I was to put it up against Paul David's course, I'd say Paul David's is for those who've got a bit more experience under the belt. Justin Guitar Courses for those who are complete beginners and hold your hands the, the whole way through. And then Jamie's course, probably somewhere between the two in terms of what kind of level of experience you need to start playing the course. And I say that because his course, while aimed at total beginners, um, sometimes skip through things a little bit quick in comparison to Justin. So if you're looking for a complete handhold, Justin's course is probably better for you. However, I really enjoyed this course actually, probably a lot more than I did with Paul David's course. And I think that's because I've got the popular song tutorials. I figured that that's something that I particularly like and it motivates me because I get to learn something I actually know. And doing Paul's course, there's a lot of new things to do and techniques and it was quite cool to do, but it just after a while, when you repeated a few things, it just lost a little bit of interest for me. 
So I'll currently put that at second in terms of my leaderboard of guitar courses, and over time I'll add to these and you'll get to see where everyone sits, in my opinion. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video I was going to set myself a new challenge, and that is to learn Boulder's Love, the Jimi Hendrix kind of John Mayer version that Jamie Harrison's done. So I've signed up and bought one of his courses, it cost me 30 pounds, or about 40 US dollars, and I'm going to be working that th through that over the next 60 days. He's actually got a Facebook group associated with this course, and in there someone's actually tried to learn that song over 60 days, slowly working up on a metronome, and doing two bars a day roughly, I think it is. So I'm going to try and do that myself, and when I have completed that, and I don't think it's going to be at full speed, around the full speed is about 125 beats a minute, so I'm aiming for 60 beats a minute if I can do it. So when I've got there, I'm going to record it and put it on here, warts and all. So we'll see how that goes. I've done challenges in the past. You ever saw my 30 songs in 30 days challenge? Um, yeah, how many songs did I learn? Oh yeah, zero. But it really doesn't matter, it's for fun. And uh, I'm really interested in learning this song, so I'm going to do my best with it and I'll show you how I get on. If you're interested, obviously subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.